This video is intended for educational purposes only and is not a replacement for repairs or diagnostics by qualified technicians. All commentary is pure satire and is not directed at any individual or company. Smiley face. Quick little how-to video today. I've gotten a number of questions in regards to Permobile 3G seating, specifically the armrests. Now, I did do a video all about the armrests and how to adjust them and do a bunch of different things, but there's one thing I didn't go over, and that is how to adjust the armrests so they're both at different heights. The way these systems work on the 3G seating is there's an adjustment screw right here, and you loosen up these four bolts, and the whole assembly that both armrests connects to moves up and down. And that's what this little gauge right here is for. It kind of indicates the position of it. But what do you do in a situation where you need one armrest to be higher than the other? Now, using the turnbuckles on the back, you can change the angle of them, but that doesn't necessarily change the overall height. This is actually pretty easy to do, and it only involves removing two bolts. So let me show you how that works. Basically what we're gonna be doing is removing these two bolts right here, changing the angle of the armrest, and then using the turnbuckle to bring it back down. Now this works on either side. This hardware is the same. A lot of chairs uh, are going to have this bolt in a different position. Typically stock, you're always gonna have this one up here, and then you're gonna have this one here. There's two slots on each side and a hole in the middle. And then we have this big, long, adjustable slot here on the back. Let's start off here by measuring the height of both of these right now. So the one on this side is about 13 inches from the seat pan. And the one on the other side, well, it shows 12 inches, but if you notice the angle of this one is pointing up just a little bit. So let's go ahead and work on lowering this particular side about two inches. I use these Allen handle T wrenches. These are usually on sale at Harbor Freight for like 12, $14, something like that. But they've got standard and metric on there and they're super handy. They have the speed tips on one end and just a normal Allen on the other and it makes a really great handle for stuff like this. And what we're gonna do here is just loosen up the front one a little bit. There we go. Don't need to take it out, just enough so it can fairly easily spin. And then we're gonna loosen up this back one as well. Now, now if this back one is already in this slot over here, you're gonna have to be careful because as soon as you loosen it, this armrest is gonna flop down. Let me pull this bolt out and I'll show you. Now there are a couple of lock washers in here, so you have to be careful not to lose those. But now that this back bolt is out, you can see that our angle here is pretty adjustable. And you can see there's two slots. Oh, actually in this one, it's only, oh, those aren't slots on this chair. Okay, so some chairs, these will be slots, some they won't, but usually they come with the bolt in the center hole. So if you take a look here, we've got two threaded bolt holes. The front one is the stock location where it goes through this hole here and the thing doesn't move at all. This bottom one lines up with this slot, which allows you to adjust the angle of this a lot further. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this armrest up and then thread the bolt into this back slot here. And sometimes the threads are a little bit weird, so just kind of start it by hand and be careful. And then we'll tighten this down. And this is where it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error to get your positioning just right. Just as kind of a guess, I'm gonna go ahead and point this thing up, eh, maybe about like that, and then we'll tighten this down. It doesn't need to be full tightness, we're just kind of adjusting things right now. Now you can see this armrest is pointing way up in the air as opposed to the other one that is flat. Next we're gonna come around to the back here, and this turnbuckle is gonna be what will allow us to put our angle back down flat, thus lowering the entire thing. Now there's two little keepers on here. You can see there's flat spots on each sides of this nut, and same with the one down here. Now, some of these are reverse thread, and I can never remember which is which, so this isn't gonna require any force at all. You need to be pretty careful with it. But you'll put your wrench on here, and we're just gonna loosen these and get them out of the way. Again, this shouldn't require really any force at all. Sometimes it's hard to tell which side's right-hand thread and which side's left-hand thread. There we go, that one's backwards. So we'll just get that down out of the way now. Now all we have to do, I like to support this with my hand just to kind of take some of the load off the threads, but just sort of pull up on this a little bit, and then we can adjust our turnbuckle 
which in turn will lower this armrest down. Now, there's only so much thread in here. So while you can adjust the height of this, I'm not 100% sure right off how far you can go. So you'll just want to be sure that when you're turning this, you don't run out of thread because these two halves will disconnect. And I'm just turning this center black portion. Now, again, this should turn by hand. It does have a hole through the middle, and I've seen people jam a screwdriver through there and use that to kind of force everything. But it's real easy for these threads to become disconnected on either end and start spinning in their mounts. So if this is banged up or damaged in any way, this may be a little bit more tricky to do. But this chair has been beat on pretty hard, and you know it's still in pretty good shape. Okay, so we've got this lowered down now. It's about level. Let's see how much distance we've uh, gone here. Okay, so now we're at now we're at 10 inches. Before we were almost 13. So 11, 12, 13. So just that little adjustment, we've taken it down three inches. And that's actually a little bit flat. I'm gonna raise it back up. There we go. And this, these turnbuckles back here are also how you adjust the angle of these armrests. So if you want the front of them tipped up or down a little bit more, uh, you can do that. But now, if you take a look here, this armrest is lower than the one on the other side. And that's really all there is to it. Now the trick is here, since this bolt is now in a big slot, it's going to be a little bit easier. So if you're someone that leans on the end of these armrests to transfer, you're going to want to be careful. And you want to make sure you get a properly fitting wrench to go in here because these will strip out pretty easily. This front one, you'll get pretty tight. And I'm sure there's a torque spec on these. I'm not sure exactly what it is. But these rear ones, you're going to want to get it as pretty much as tight as you can. I say that carefully because you know you don't want to put like a three foot breaker bar on this and twist on it but you want to get it as tight as is reasonable and keep from stripping this out. As long as those lock washers are still in here those should help grip on the side of this. If you look real close you can kind of see some marks here where those teeth were digging in and we're kind of relying on that gription strength there to keep this from sliding. So I've gotten this tightened up pretty well. Um, again, just be careful because uh, it's really annoying and can be dangerous if you're leaning on this to transfer. You really shouldn't be doing that anyways. But if you are, now that we've adjusted this, because this thing can drop. And a sudden drop when you've got all your weight on this when you're transferring can definitely lead to you falling on the floor or hitting your face on things. But uh, yeah, there you go. After we're done with our adjustments, we'll want to come back here and get our little keeper nut ring holder thingies screwed back into place. And then these don't need to be crazy tight again. You just want to get them so they're barely snug. And this crescent wrench is way too big for this, but as you can see, I'm holding it right up here near the front. That way I'm not going to accidentally get too much torque on this as I'm tightening it. There we go. Now that's locked in place. A lot of times on these chairs when other people are working on them and just bumping down the road and sidewalks and other places, sometimes these will come loose. So it doesn't hurt to check these every so often and make sure they aren't flopping around because with the vibration and everything that goes on, it can very slowly cause your armrest to lower down over time. Let's see here. Yeah, see, like this side here, it's already loose. Yeah, so just from running around, um, those things can come loose. It doesn't hurt to check those every so often. Just for fun real quick, I think I want to try and adjust this as low as it can possibly go, just to kind of give you an idea of how many threads are inside there and how far down you can adjust it before you start running into issues where the threads are not long enough to hold it in place anymore. Okay, I've gone ahead and adjusted this bolt so it's at the maximum height that the slot will allow here. And getting the armrest level, or even tilted down a little bit further, we still have a good five to six threads inside here. So, it looks like they actually thought this out, which, you know, makes sense being permobile and all. <laughs> um, Please take offense, Quantum. <laughs> but anyways, so you can actually tilt this up all the way, and there's still enough threads in here to make this happen. So we started at 13 inches. Right now, yeah, we're all the way down to, uh, we're all the way down to 9 inches. So there's quite a bit of adjustment there. Now in some instances, depending on how you need things set up, it might be easier to lower the entire armrest assembly and then raise one of them up. And it's basically the same process as this, 
but instead of pointing the armrest up, you'll point it down, and then you'll use the turnbuckle on that side to bring it back to level. So there's a lot of adjustability on these chairs when it comes to setting the height of the armrests. And looking through some of the documentation Promobile has, it's not exactly obvious how to do that. So yeah, there you go. Quick, simple adjustment. If you need to fine tune your chair, you can see here, we've got a much lower armrest than we do over on this side. And I've actually found with most of my chairs, to get them comfortable, I do end up having one armrest a little bit lower. I have my left one a little bit lower. It's probably gonna be a little bit hard to see here. Um, but yeah, the, the left armrest, you can see the gap here is a lot closer than it is over here on this side. There's the other side again. You can see I, I can't even get two fingers in there. And then on this side, I can fit three and a half fingers under there. So pretty much all permobiles are gonna have the 3G seating still at this point. Unless you get into the really old 2G seating stuff, that gets a little bit more tricky. It is possible to do. Um, but if you do have a question about the old 2G seating, and I don't know if I have one right here. Eh, it's in the back corner. But those are the ones that have the plastic seat back instead of the metal ones. As you can see right here, this is metal. But if you do have one of the 2G ones, send me a message on Twitter. There's links below to send me direct messages and I can send you some photos. And actually, I think I've got a video clip on how to adjust those as well. It's a tiny bit more involved, but it's still doable. But yeah, there you go. Hopefully this helped.